praise is the song of a soul set free. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Marvin Williams. In 2005, when American civil rights hero Rosa Parks died, Oprah Winfrey counted it a privilege to eulogize her. Oprah said of the woman who refused to give up her bus seat to a white man in 1955, I often thought about what that took, knowing the climate of the times and what could have happened to you, what it took to stay seated. You acted without concern for yourself and made life better for us all. We often use the word eulogy to refer to the words spoken at a funeral but it can also refer to other situations where we give high praise to someone. In the opening lines of Ephesians, the Apostle Paul eulogized the living God. When he said, Blessed be the God and Father, he used a word for blessed that means eulogy. Paul invited the Ephesians to join him in praising God for all kinds of spiritual blessings. God had chosen and adopted them. Jesus had redeemed, forgiven, and made known to them the mystery of the gospel and the Spirit had guaranteed and sealed them. This great salvation was purely an act of God and His grace. Let's continue to center our thoughts on God's blessings in Christ. When we do, like Paul, we'll find our hearts overflowing with a eulogy that declares to the praise of His glory. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 14. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realm with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. In love, He predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with His pleasure and will, to the praise of His glorious grace which He has freely given us in the one He loves. In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace that He lavished on us. With all wisdom and understanding, He made known to us the mystery of His will according to His good pleasure, which He purposed in Christ to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment to bring unity to all things in heaven and earth under Christ. In Him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of Him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of His will, in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of His glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in Him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of His glory. That's today's scripture reading from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 14. Let's pray together now. Blessed Father, we are overwhelmed by Your grace. Our only adequate response is ceaseless praise. Thank you for choosing us, adopting us, redeeming us, forgiving us, and making known to us the mystery of the gospel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.